Hi, this is Wiz. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the virtual cockpit of the Audi RS3. In this video, I will try to explain you in detail how the virtual cockpit for RS model works. There are some slight differences between the virtual cockpit for the standard A models, the one for the S models and the one for RS models. This is the basic layout where you have the revs and speed and gear selected in the center. And you can command everything by all the touches here on the left side of the steering wheel. Those arrows here are to move between tabs. First of all, you can change the view and you can choose to have the two separate gadgets, the one for the uh, revs and gear selected and one for the speed. By doing this you get all the other informations on the center of the virtual cockpit. And then you can move around with those arrows here and you can see on the top you get tabs. Car informations, radio, phone, navigation. By moving between tabs, you can decide what you have, what you want to have displayed in the virtual cockpit. So you can have the uh, big navigation map, then you can have the phone informations, you can have the radio displayed, and if you wait a couple of seconds, then you'll see the the logo of the radio selected and you can have the trip computer and all the informations related to the car. On this central part you can select what you want to have displayed by moving the scroll wheel right here so you can have either date and time, short-term memory fuel consumption, long-term memory fuel consumption and that's it. And then, whenever you see a little sign like this on both sides of the virtual cockpit, it means that you can select extra menus by clicking here or here. In this specific case, I can choose what I want to have displayed. My actual selection was the onboard computer. We can choose to have sport displays and now I have the G-meter or I have the engine data which will show the power and the torque in real time. By clicking again here we can choose to have lap times. This could be interesting if you are going on a track with your RS3 or any RS model. And then, going back, you can have the lap statistics. Obviously, there is nothing to display now. And then you can change the layout. You can go from the sport layout to the classic layout with the two big gadgets. Obviously, for RS model, you want to stay on sport layout. You always go back by pressing this back button here. Let's say that we go for sport displays. It means that if I now change the view, I'll have on the virtual cockpit everything that is related to the power, the torque and the G-meter measurement. Then by clicking this button over here, you can select what you want to have displayed right here. 
by going to additional display I can have the engine data I can have the date and time I can have the consumption display and I can have the short-term and long-term consumption memory and I can have the G meter displayed here so let's say I want to have the G meter here and the engine data on the other side there you go when you have the sport mode selected you can still navigate through the different tabs by clicking here you will see the different tabs displayed on this side of the virtual cockpit same as the this layout but instead of having the informations on the center you have them on the left side so everything car related radio phone and navigation again by clicking here whichever tabs you have selected you can have additional informations like map last destination favorites for the map part and then going on the phone there is no phone connected but you can have your last call your contacts and going to the radio you can select if you want to go to FM DAB favorites or go to media and if you have a device connected there you can select to stream your music via Bluetooth it's just a shame that if you have this configuration selected on the virtual cockpit you have picture of the car here that actually it's it's just a static picture of a regular a3 I would have loved if they could implement there the actual picture of your car like Tesla is doing on their dash but obviously uh, this is not the case here this is not moving it's just a picture of a regular a3 and you find the exact same picture but turned in the opposite way on the central screen so if you have this selected then you have twice image of a regular a3 which is a little bit of a shame if I had to have a, a RS model, I would personally have this configuration on my virtual cockpit. I would have the engine data here, the power, the torque. I would have the uh, G meter just for fun on the left side and I would choose the sport layout with the uh, central big rev uh, showing the revs the speed and the actual gear selected so I think this is a very uh, sporty configuration for the RS virtual cockpit and this is what I would choose should I have an RS model so that was a quick tutorial of the virtual cockpit on RS models thanks for watching this video don't forget to thumb up and subscribe for more video Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one, bye bye!